So the boys are going to be Ponther on the pod. So here we go. McDuffie. What do you got, Nick McDuffie? What's up, guys? This is Nick McDuffie. Mm -hmm. I am from Fayetteville, mm -hmm. Georgia. And basically, I'm just telling y'all to subscribe to the Patreon. I'm a Patreon supporter That's myself. Nice. Um, subscribe to Danny Mullen's Patreon. He's got some great extra content on there. Leo and Danny funny, show Patreon. Very Hell funny yeah. stuff. And Leo, Brando, y'all are in your prime. That's and right. We're in our it. prime. So y'all have a good one. Bye. That's right. We're in our prime, baby. Later, Nick. You're the man, dude. That was nice. We didn't know he was going to do a Yeah, do like Chase that. Wagner or, or Landon Blass. Fucking froze. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. I, I really am going to throw a shoe at you and say something. No, this is fucking annoying. I don't know what just happened. Would you ever do like a call-in show? You know, we've done them on the Patreon, and yeah, that'd be fun. I would do it. The problem is it's just, it's a lot of women, mm -hmm. and they really can't keep it together when they get on the horn with me and Leo. Yeah, yeah. the last time Danny- I'm serious, it's all, yeah. Danny had a like, he was like, dude, I have to take a break, go jerk off, and it like, it took away longer than we thought, and then it was just like, dude, we're wasting so much time, you know what I mean, doing this. Is it just like, how many times can the audience listen to, like, oh- you know, I go to the University of Alabama. I'm in Alpha Phi Sorority. I want to suck Danny's dick. Like, how many times yeah. can the audience listen to that yeah. and not get a little tired? I think the answer is yeah. somewhere around 7,000. Yeah. Because that's how many women called in with those credentials and said that. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But to make you actually feel better about your female fan base, one of the girls that's a big fan, and I think she might be... Might be a patron. Um, she did uh, write into the email, and she's like, "Can you tell me how to fuck Danny?" It's very so, simple. It's very yeah. simple. How is it? How would you say is the right way to fuck Danny? Well, because I've had sex with so many of just the most beautiful women the planet has to offer, mm -hmm. I'm very desensitized. So, very, very desensitized. All right, Chase uh, Wagner. We yeah, got let's Chase go Wagner. Chase Wagner yeah. Like, you need basically to bring the ropes. Okay. You need me. Cause I'm also very lazy. Like, mm -hmm. everybody knows I just outsource all my video production. Listen, I'm not. Right. I'm not yeah, no, done sorry, yet. sorry. Yeah, wait one like, second, Jesse. So, Don't play like, yet. I mean, you need to bring me the ropes. Mm -hmm. You need to bring me the gloves. You need to bring me the Cialis. Mm -hmm. And you need to bring your own bag of ice and okay. your own ability to keep a secret. Because oh wow, it get rough these days, Leo. Yeah, now it it's, get rough. How do you suggest? As I, I think this could be a problem for a couple of the women, but like, how yeah. do you suggest they get their hands on Cialis without a prescription and things like that? It, what do you talk you to, to a male Mexico? relative? Talk to a male relative, and the okay. male relative will understand. Like, hey, dad, you know, uh, there's this guy Danny Mullen that I'm I'm gonna fly cross country. I'm gonna need a little bit of money in my account for that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have sex with him, but he just has sex with so many women that his penis. Uh, is inoperable, and wow. I need you to, you know, sit, go to the pharmacy and be like, hey, and you can be honest with them. Be like, you know, my daughter's going to fuck this really handsome guy out in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's take the hell. Like, that's it. Well, that's a great idea. Then. All right. Yeah, ladies, so I, well. I would just say, like, you know, just show up. Just understand you're going to take a shot. Yeah. Like, you're, you're going to get hit. I don't... I am joking. Would you okay. say? Would this you say so that if she? True. Would you say that they have to do neck exercises <laughs> to kind of like maybe look up what Tyson does for his neck in order to take a punch? I forget. Just, Daphne's not here anymore, ladies. Yeah, I'm yeah, not stop gonna, it, dude. This is not true. I am not going to beat anybody up, and my dick works. Yeah, unless dude. it's been a bad week and I've been watching a lot of porn, then maybe there's some truth to the Cialis thing. All Let's right. hit this, Chase, dude. Our boy Chase. We met. At, him, a, we met him in New York. Very many times. He came to one New York show. And he came to a sack show too. Okay. This is the man. Quick video telling you a little bit about myself. Maybe at the end of it, you guys can give me some life advice. Quick rundown. I'm Chase. I'm 24 years old. I live about 25 minutes away from SF. Still live with my mom. You know, I just got laid off from an electrician company like a bunch of my coworkers did. So I opt on all the business apps and I take my foreman with me to every job and we split the money. That's pretty promising. Just started it though. Also drive for a weed delivery service here and there. Anyways, I got a really hot girlfriend. She's fucking sexy. We met her, dude. She is hot. At the sack um, show outdoors? Yeah. yeah. I can't That's shake the itch. I wanted to go out and bless more beautiful females at this young age that I'm at. Because life is finite, right, oh, Leo? Shit. It is. But anyways, it really doesn't help. It actually makes it worse that, uh, Danny, you're going to hate me for this, but I got a huge fucking dick. Seriously, I'm God fucking blessed. damn it, dude. Probably That's gonna ruin so many of our Danny. fans. You're doing a bad. He might be doing a bit. All, you know, you got the gift of the gab. You can't he's told us that before. Buddy. But yeah, it's probably going to ruin your day. I got a huge yeah, dick. Yeah, I did. It fucked up it, my day. Dude. Right as he said that, I was pushing the mic away. Just pissed. Fuck. Chase. Well, look, dude. 
uh, you're either with someone and you're kind of bored or, you know, you're lonely when you're trying to find pussy out there, dude. It's uh, it's kind of a tough decision to make. You have to look inward. And I think that most of the guys that are happy that I know kind of, you know, they, they're in a long term relationship. And, you know, yeah, I would say there's no correlation between being single and being in a relationship and being actually the correlation is probably the guys who are in relationships are most likely happier yeah I, I statistically it's true that married men are happier than unmarried men yeah so it, i mean like one Danny can argue or legends, he's 24 but, right yeah he's 24 that's pretty young you know i would say it might not be time to close the door on random women mm. forever so early in one's 20s right nba mike of course, there's a whole world waiting out there for you. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a fucking a whole fistful of quarters <laughs> ready to be thrown into a bitch's face at Sapphire, dude. That's so funny that you said that story because one of my buddies played it a s- summer baseball in Canada at a place we should probably go because it's called it's Thunder Bay, which is straight up north. And he said it's the worst town he's ever seen in his life. And he was, pr- he, I think he was from like a small town in Ohio. So this place is probably fucked up. But he said him and the boys got hammered at the strip club. And the the dollar bills in Canada at the time, I guess they were like they were like quarters, and they started firing them like baseball players from the back at the strippers, and they got like chased out. They got their ass beat Damn, by the bouncers, but just just from the back, they got hammered. Damn, so it's actually happened, dude. Damn, Funny. yeah, dude. I we got to be careful about that stuff right now. We don't yeah. need another ass beating. No, no, yeah, we definitely don't, dude. Um, Chase, do... what's so? What's our advice for Chase? Was he? He was asking for advice. He said he well, wanted yeah, to go he... chase random chicks. Yeah, well, yeah. Is he? Is he saying like his life chick is was, finite? His chick was, was hot. hot yeah. Maybe stick with her for a little longer, buddy. Stick with her for a little longer. See how it goes. Be faithful. Don't make the Papa Leo mistake. And uh, and then marry her, and then have a kid with her, man. And uh, you know cheat very strategically okay i'm not going to endorse well. that no i'm, I'm not kidding gonna... i'm kidding but if you do cheat maybe hookers i'm kidding don't cheat don't ever cheat i would say chase <laughs> if you i mean it doesn't sound like things are perfect because i feel like if the relationship was really good well that's not true listen every guy is always going to look at other women even if he's married Mm -hmm. that's your sexual appetites never going to go away Mm -hmm. but if it's a good relationship you'll be able to overcome that sexual appetite and push it aside but if it's spilling over into your days if your bloodlust is you know starting to bounce around your head when you're in starbucks getting a frappuccino man maybe it is time for single chase and with this 10 inch cock to be unleashed on the town it's a good it's good uh it's good yeah think about it like uh Maybe look at your chick sometime and and talk to her. Then really think about the fact, like, will, will I be okay being with her for the rest of my life? And then be truthful with yourself. And maybe you're like, you know what? I probably don't want to be with her for the rest of your life. And then just go be single immediately. Don't waste somebody's time. That's for sure. And you know what? She probably doesn't want to be with you because... I read this in yeah. a message board that women actually don't enjoy large penises, yeah. and they would much rather be with a man like me, you know, who's got uh, <laughs> you know a five and a half or on a good day. Yeah, they, guys with big penises, it's really it's frowned upon in most cultures, and especially you know, especially the Asian cultures. Yeah, right. they don't like it. We don't like, like the it. Koreans, yeah, yeah. We're it's, not, it's, it's 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 a burden. Not in you know, our country. It's just so, it's gross. I you know I I think um, it's just probably looking at a guy like me and being like, that guy has a skinny Irish cock yeah. that will be a much better fit in my hot young vagina right. than this fucking beluga that Chase keeps whipping out at mm-hmm. sunset right. every fucking day. He always pulls it out at sunset. Why is that? Why is that, Chase? Uh, Go to the T-Y. T- T-Y there? It's a good one. Sweet kid. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Yo, Danny and Leo, we love you in Texas, man. We love you in the autistic community. <laughs> you inspire us so much in the autistic community because you are both very funny and you make us laugh. You inspire me so much, especially Danny Mullen. He nice. makes me very happy. Aww. I just want to let y'all know that, so thank you. Hey, you're the man, Ty. Uh, I think that's your oh, yeah. name. An autistic guy likes me. That's hot. Yeah. 
I love that he shouted out his people too, you know? Yeah, that was good. I like that No, nobody can bring me down for the next week or so because I'll always remember that. He, what was his name? Ty? Ty, I think, yeah, it's yeah. Ty. The email says Ty. Ty yeah. and the entire autistic community embrace us, Leo. Yeah. And that's a good thing. And I'm fucking happy about Ty loving yeah. us. And I love Ty back. You're the man, Ty. Thank you. That means You're a lot. You're a good man, Ty. You know, if only the Latino community embraced us like the autistic one does because they did not embrace us this weekend. No, they didn't. They didn't embrace us. They tried to hurt us. They did. They tried to hurt us really bad, honestly. Yeah. A little too aggressively, maybe. You yeah. know? Just a little too much. Meh. Meh. Horse. You didn't need a horse. We didn't need old Meh. chestnut there. Meh. Yeah. We didn't need the goddamn headless horseman. No. Which is really what it looked like. Do land in blasts. This is fun. We could do some segments with the, with the fans actually seeing them. It's kind of great. I like it. I'm gonna do yeah, more. I like yeah, it. I'm going like, to do more of these. I like having a face on the fans. You're off mic, Brooks. I'm sorry. Over. Let's, uh, right, let's see this kid right here. Hit it. Hey, Leo. Hey, Danny. What's up, dude? It's Landon fucking Blast. How are we doing? A good looking kid. Um, I come to you at a time of desperate need. You see... I've hit, I've hit a fork in the road. I'm going to be 18 years old in a few months, but I don't know what direction I take my life in because I've been slinging dick. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I need to keep it in my pants and focus on my goals, or that's what I think because I'm, I'm about to head to BSU, you know, yes. you know, sports journalism type shit. But what do I do, guys? Because getting Pinocha is a blessing and a curse. It's true. It is. It, is. Um, it, it takes my mind off of my goals, mm -hmm. but... Do I live it up in college, or do I just put the nose down and grind? Let me know. Oh, Love man. you guys. Um, well, hope to see this on the pod. Sports journalism. And, I mean, it'll... um, yeah. His name's Landon. Landon. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, what is some professor? <laughs> what is some professor at AS, ASU? Is a school we dropped, right? I think so. What? Uh, that's a fucking legendary all-time pussy school. Mm -hmm. But like, what do you see? What do you get to learn about sports journalism in college? The way to do sports journalism now, and I know this because we had John Middlecoff on our podcast once, and him and I are still friendly and still talk. He is killing it in sports broadcasting right now through a fucking podcast he does out of his spare bedroom in his house in Arizona. And I don't think he has any sort of traditional training. So what I'm saying is, Go to ASU. Mm -hmm. If you want, I mean, Landon, you could take a scarecrow to class. And I mean, you might have to do something to simulate the frosted tips there. Mm -hmm. He might have to get some Play-Doh and like bleach it yellow or something. This guy, he looks like a handsome guy. He looks like a heck, a handsome version of Dexter from The Offspring. Mm -hmm. He's got that kind of like 90s alternative look going. He looks like he'd have a tongue piercing and a big cock and looks like he'd fuck your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You just got to get a dummy that looks relatively close to that and send him to all the sports journalism classes for you. Yeah. And you'll pass at ASU. Like you'll get above a 2.0. Yeah. And you'll absorb just as much useful information yeah. as you would if you were actually there present. Hey, buddy, uh, we got a fan that just goes to ASU and uh, you know, he showed me some videos of what goes on there. Uh, go. Yeah, go to ASU. Go. To ASU and go to college anywhere you go. guys go to any college, but go to ASU and then you could do the sports journalism on the side. And yeah, sports. I want you to do sports journalism on the side. But by sports journalism, I mean, have sex with women. Yes. And but sports journalism is going to get in the way of you having sex. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I want you to spend no more than 5% of your time on it. Right. But you're going to figure out how to make that 5%. You're going to get you're going to be able to pass. That's how life is. Sometimes you put in a little effort and you put a lot of effort into other things. Like now, I think at one point in my life, 5% of my effort was going into my life and 95% of the effort was going to getting pussy. I've, I've kind of, it's more 50-50 nowadays. Is it? It's more 60-40. It's it? more 60-40. Uh, try again. It's more 70-30. Try one more time. 80-20. It's 80-20 right and now. And that's being generous. But you can figure out ways to carve yourself a nice living with the percentage that you're putting in. But that's what college teaches you. It teaches you how to hit deadlines, how to make it things happen while you're still getting pussy. All right. But you do have to enjoy the uh, 
you got to go to college because there's just never a congregation of beautiful women like that ever again. And, uh, you know, you got to go. It's Unless you go back to visit colleges at 38 years old with your boy. Yeah, yeah. Then, okay. then you get to retap into the congregation. So, yeah, Landon. That's right. Do it, dude. Sports journalism, the way it's going right now. Yeah. Any if Taking the mainstream approach to a journalism job is retarded. Mm -hmm. It is the most, it's actually true statistically, the most regretted major in college now is the journalism major. Jesse could probably pull that up if he's enough somewhere fucking around being Filipino. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> I mean, there are some jobs still that you need to take the traditional approach to get into. There's mm -hmm. no YouTube doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess technically there probably sort of fucking is now there's no youtube lawyer though i guess technically there probably sort of is now but basically to make real money in those jobs there's one career path journalism yeah. now is so disrupted that a guy with an x account and an iphone who goes to protests is probably a much more prosperous journalist than the guy with the doctorate who works at the la times with a corner office so which is kind of a nice feeling for you guys like if you really want to go into journalism it's 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 like it's open you know like you get out there and make it happen you should be the sports journalist who goes to wnba games and tries to fuck the point guard <laughs> like that's what landon should do he should be the point guard fucker for the wnba that's a really good idea for NBA Mike, you should do that. Yeah, Honestly, should. that should be your channel. <laughs> is you go to different WNBA arenas and or any any high college games, not high school. Sorry, high college. I said college. I almost said high school games. College games. You should go to college. Just shoot some DMs beforehand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the point guards are probably the cutest girls on the team, right? Yeah, like the least manly is most. Of yeah. Them. Yeah, that one sexy. You know that one girl. She played college. She played D one basketball, and she it was a point guard. Yeah. That's why she's tiny, yeah. I uh, have no idea who you're talking about. I know. But well, you know, the, the one, the, the comedy club uh, exec. The comedy okay. club exec. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leo's. Uh, yeah, NBA Mike. But I will say, and I, I might, I got my times where I just, I want to fuck a center. You know, I listen, wa I, I want to fuck a center. I, 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 I yeah. listen, the biggest girl on the Sparks, what was her name? Fatty McGee. Stop it, dude. She's a giant. She's close. She's like 6'10, I think. Which one? Oh God. Uh the new one? I just I, and one. I will say I I take back that that horrible description for. I do like a big chick. You know, like I bigger than you? I had a thing for rowing girls. There was a rowing girl that was my one that got away at UCLA. Mm. NBA Mike, she had thighs that were probably the same circumference as my abs like my abdominals my core my torso like just as she walked just <laughs> and i just imagined her dude she was like half asian wow. and white and uh just so hot and i she, like she did not like my skullduggery she did not like that i was getting around and i looked her up recently and she's working a job where I know she's making like 500 G's a year. And mm -hmm. with that, that ass dude and those legs she had, she is the love of my life. And she's so, making 500 grand a year. When we went to and the Sparks Leo's game, care. Danny was obsessed with Liz Gambage. Oh, I would, Remember uh, that? I would. And she's six nine, bro. She's uh, your height. She's, she's hot. I mean, look at that. That You can't. That's hot. She's heavier than you. She's dude. a hot chick. She is hot. She's heavier would, than you, too. You fucking, yeah, she is. She's a giant. And that's but, saying something, because you're a fucking but I mean, fat no, piece she, of shit, Liz. You're a piece of shit. I am not <laughs> fat. I am so sexy. But uh, Liz Cambage is like kind of like, that'd be gnarly. She's hot, dude. She's, like I would, she's as, as far as a center goes, she's very pretty. So you would have sex with Liz. I mean, dude. I mean, I, duh, every, dude. dude, I was so attracted to every girl on the floor during the game, dog. You should, you got to go, bro. You got to go. I've never You, been. especially because you like basketball. I mean, you, you're a basketball guy, dude. Trust me, it's the best four hundred dollars you'll ever spend because that was it was those four seats for four hundred bucks. Wow. Pretty nice. Four fifty. It's four fifty. Four fifty. Well, you paid for it. Yeah. You owe me fifty bucks, dude. My bad. <laughs> Listen, it was the most fun I've ever had at any sporting event, probably. I, I would say. Easily. Yeah, I feel like the security would be like lax or oh, it was less tense dude, than they trust would be. I mean, if, if I tried to give fucking lebron james leo's number if i walked out on the court like i did oh. i would probably they would have beat the fuck out of me because yeah. lebron's own security would have stole me away from the crypto arena security yeah. and they would be like let us get five minutes with this motherfucker yeah and 
they would have gone all LAPD in 1990 I think and like been... raped me with a push broom. <laughs> yeah, you would have been like semi conscious, and then LeBron <laughs> would have came in and he'd be like, "Yo, man, no, I'm sorry, I don't know why he's got." No, he would have been like, "Yo, man," and he yeah. would have just, you know, he would have pulled his fucking throbbing dick out yeah. of his his ball shorts, <laughs> yeah. and he would have raped me to prove a point. Leo. <laughs> yeah, he would like, "Yo, listen." <laughs> Don't you ever come back around here thinking you're going to do shit to me. LeBron, <laughs> I thought you went to college, right? You, you, do you talk a little street when you get in the back rooms of the arena? How, can you describe that a little bit? Like, why you talk like that, LeBron? Hey, man, just sometimes it come out like that. Oh, shit, dude. I'm right? Man, you really sound like you're from the street. You don't sound like a billionaire at all, LeBron. Hey, man, you come at me sideways. This is what happened, man. The hood come out. <laughs>